Evening everybody, Rule 303 here. I have got a uh, short video today on a holster that I find particularly interesting. It is a Audley safety holster. So there's a little bit of history behind these. Let me show you first. So this is the holster, complete with a Colt's new service revolver in 455 Webley inside it. So what I find really fascinating about these holsters, like I said, the full title for it is the um, Audley Safety Holster, is that they have a retaining spring here within the trigger guard. So can you see there within the trigger guard, there's a silver glinting thing just there. That's the retaining spring. And the idea is that you take the gun out by pressing down on that spring, which allows you to draw the gun. When you holster the gun, clicks in and it's retained. It's not going anywhere. It'd be a great moment if that fell out, wouldn't it? So these were made by, as I said, this guy, F.H. Audley. He was a, a saddler. He made saddles and uh, riding equipment. Uh, and he did reasonably well out of it. But as time moved on, the automobile started to take over. Horse and carts and horses were less in demand and his work started to dry up. So he actually moved his leather working shop to uh, New York and was opposite the uh, NYPD. He was opposite the police department. And as time went on, more and more police officers are going to him and saying, can you sort me a holster? Can you sort me a belt? All this sort of thing. And he designed this safety holster with this self-retaining uh, spring system within the trigger guard here. Uh, and he did reasonably well out of it. He applied for the patent in 1912 and it was granted in 1914. And he made these holsters pretty much for any pistol that was on the market at the time. So whether it was a 1911, a 1902, a, you know, Colt, Webley, whatever it was, um, he made a, a holster to suit these guns. Um, and he made them incredibly well. I mean, the system is... The system is really good for the time. Absolutely terrifying now for clearly, clearly obvious reasons, safety-wise. You don't want to be sticking your finger in the, into, the, uh, into the trigger guard without actually wanting to shoot something directly. However, I don't think there was ever a case of anybody being shot accidentally with one of these. So read into that what you will. But by today's standards, this is pretty frowned upon. However, as a piece of history, it is, the wear factor I think is amazing. It, it really is cool. Uh, it, it's a, a holster that was designed to be used with this gun. Now, as a private purchase gun, I mean, obviously officers during the First World War, British officers, Commonwealth officers, weren't really issued with service revolvers. They bought their own. Um, so if you had this service revolver with this holster, that would be pretty Gucci. That would be pretty state of the art for you. This rig would be, this would get you noticed <laughs> in the trenches. How practical it would be in the trenches, I'm not entirely certain. I would imagine in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, it could be really good because it's nearly impossible for anybody other than the wearer to take the gun out of the holster because of the way that it's set up. You've very much got to be able to put your hand in from the angle that you would have it on your belt wearing it in order to engage the spring and remove the gun. If you're standing by the side of somebody wearing this, it's virtually impossible. I mean, how are you gonna, how are you gonna, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna get to that? That's, that's gonna be really hard and difficult for you to, to retrieve that and use that against the person who's wearing it. So I'd imagine it would have a, a place in the trenches, although presumably you would have the gun in your hand if you were on a trench raid, it wouldn't be in your holster. Whatever, semantics, you know. So these holsters were made in pretty large numbers. And what I'd like to show you is just the quality of the, of the actual manufacture of these holsters. Look at that stitching there. It's absolutely pristine. This thing is a work of art. There's a manufacturer's mark there. You can't read it. It's back to front, but that says Audley and it's uh, patent 1914. This gun is, it, I mean, this holster is absolutely brilliant and it sets off this gun really, really well. Um, I'm doing a video of it just because I find it fascinating. I find anything like this fascinating. It's a, it's a really good system in itself. Like I said, by today's standards, it's terrifying. But back then it would have been um, Gucci. It would have been really state-of-the-art good stuff. So um, 
I really would like to get one of these for my Smith & Wesson 455. Um, that would be great to have two uh, substitute standard revolvers with their unique uh, orderly safety holsters. That would be cool. Very cool. Um, so now you know a little bit more about the orderly safety holster. Like I said, that latch system within the trigger guard is quite clever, really. Uh, and it's certainly practical from the point of view of uh, not wanting anybody else to take your gun. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are some safety implications by today's standards. That being said, personally, I think it's a good little system. I think as long as you're careful and not a complete idiot, you know, you're not gonna shoot yourself, particularly not if you're carrying on an empty chamber with a revolver, uh, then that would be, to my mind, pretty safe. If you were carrying with a grip safety 1911 with one in the spout, <laughs> maybe not so much. So I guess it's um, dependent on what you've got in it as much as anything else, as much as your own training as well. So, like I said, one more demonstration. This is like, works like that as it comes and then back in it goes like that. I have done a little video on this gun specifically in terms of it being a substitute standard gun. I think I'm going to do a longer video on it just purely because it's a lovely a lovely pistol it really does deserve a bit of attention of its own but this is about the orderly safety holster i hope you found it interesting please hit the like button and give us a subscribe every subscribe helps me on my way to making this channel more successful and hopefully giving you a bit more content and stuff that you enjoy any ideas give us a shout leave a comment below by all means and uh hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you next time